windows on our canvas sets have some great features. Um, the first and most important feature is the fact that all our windows have an internal window cover instead of an external one like you find in a lot of other tents. This means that one, the window can be opened up from the inside. This means in the morning you don't have to run outside your tent to open up the windows to try and pull your tent down. It also means that you can adjust how far you zip these panels down. If you want to zip them part way down, So, you're going to have a PVC window at the top. Now this lets light inside your tent, um, but soft rain and, and wind coming inside your tent. So, um, they're also located nice and high up on the tent, which means that you don't lose all your privacy, even on a, on a windy rainy day. Now if you zip them down kind of halfway, you can turn these into vents. means once again you still a little bit of airflow flowing through so it cools the tent down but you don't lose all your privacy and you can still keep cupboards and things like that up against the edge of your tent. You roll them all the way down. And you roll up. And it's time to sit inside the pocket like that. Now I've already unzipped the side of this tent. Now this part, window here has a full side opening, um, which means that two zips can be unzipped from the outside, and then the bottom Velcro can be undone. This whole panel can be rolled up. It's designed to roll inwards. When you roll it inwards, you notice that there's a seal ring on the inside, on the outside, it rolls into it, and that goes through this toggle here. Three different places. And the reason we want our windows to roll inwards rather than outwards is that. If we roll them outwards, then there's more chance of getting water and leaves and rubbish sitting on top of this roll on the outside. Whereas this way here keeps it nice and clean and more less likely to get built off of rubbish. Um, and also, finally, our, our doors come down with a little angle panel on either, either side. This angle panel is designed to give a seam which will go down to this P point in the bottom here. This adds strength to your tent. So even though you've got the whole side opening open, you'll still get a lot of strength from both these peak points. All the doors and side openings on our campus tents for friend camping use YKK zippers. We get a little bit extra effort on our zippers and cut off all the steel zip pullers on all our zips to make sure that they don't jingle during the middle of the night on when the breeze gets up. We replace the steel zip pullers with these cords. Um, these are reflective webbing cords and this makes them easy to grab and they're also easy to find during the night so if you've got a torch you can uh, find it where the zip is sitting in the zip. The zips themselves are actually um, reversed as well which means this face fabric sits on the outside rather than inside on a traditional zipper. That means that the zips are less likely to catch sand and grit which is uh, really important if you're camping beside a beach or um, beside the seaside where there's a lot of dust fighting up. Front doors on Freedom Campus tents are a new safety feature, which means when the door is zipped up, the two zippers can lie side by side. And there's a little hook on the inside here. You can clip onto both cords. That means there's no chance of someone else from the outside being able to open up your door. Okay, as we mentioned, some of our campus tents have full side openings. Um, this means that there's two zips on either side of the door. A large Velcro strip runs along the door. So once you have these open, then these side openings can be pulled out. Now, every one of our tents that has a side opening will, will come with at least one set of awning poles so that you can. Already 
either side. Now, if you, if you lay these poles over on a little bit of an angle, get a little bit more tension into that pole so that by the time you straighten it up, it sits a little bit tighter. Now side openings are great for a number of reasons. One, they let a lot of airflow flowing through, see from one side to the other. It also gives you another access point into your tent. A lot of people will turn the front of their tent into a sunroom, uh, the front of their tent into a kitchen area. Um, so this becomes your entry and exit out of your tent. If you have two side openings, then you can decide which side you want to have your entry and exit. So it really makes a huge difference when you're camping. Freedom canvas tents have some great awnings. So on our larger tents we have an awning which is 2.7 metres and on our small tents we have an awning which is 2.2 metres long. One thing that we do with our larger awnings is that because they're so long there's a chance of water pooling in this, in this part here. And that means that when water gets in there it can stretch the canvas and you can spend your whole camping holiday pushing that water out of the, out of the awning area. Um, to get around that what we've done is we've raised the centre pole height and this creates a peaked awning, or anti-pull awning as we call it. That means that when the water's running down from the roof, it's got a, a low point to run off on either side, and you're less likely to get any water pulling inside here. It also means that runoff comes down and runs outside the tent, rather than running down your window or inside um, with your um, wind sun and time. Um, finally, we have these pole sock covers and this stops water running down this pole into down the pole there into your awning area that blocks off that side here. Now inside the awning a lot of people will turn these awnings into a kitchen or a, a living area and um, the way people do that is often by adding a sunroom. Freedom camping sunrooms are three piece sunrooms and that means they come in three different panels. You can see there's velcro on the inside of this wall here there's a panel which fits over the side of that one there, and a panel on the front, and a panel on the opposite side. The reason we do three-piece awnings instead of a awning, which, uh, three-piece sunrooms instead of a sunroom which goes all the way around, is because you can take those sides on and off, which will mean that if you want some airflow flowing through the side, you can take this this side panel off here and just have a windbreak which goes all the way around the side. Now, um, the on the front of these, to create these three-piece awnings, we have these valances, and these valances go down and peg down into the, into the ground at the front of the tent. This makes the tent a lot stronger. One of the weak parts of the canvas tent is if wind gets underneath this awning, it can lift up the front of your tent. By having these valances come down in the front, it gives you an anchor point in front of your awning area, so you're a lot stronger and a lot more stable. Inside the awning, we have these little rings. And these little rings here are found in each of the corners and up on the ridge poles. They're designed so that you can tie guy cords or ropes uh, around the sides of this awning area and that lets you t um, string up uh, kitchen utensils or it lets you string up um, clothes lines or anything you want to do inside this awning area here. It just gives you some attachment to attach onto. The, the awnings over all our canvas tents will change in size but the sunroom don't. Um, we only have two types of sunrooms, or two sizes of sunrooms, and we change the tent to match the sunroom. So you're guaranteed that if you buy a tent this year and in two years time you want to get a sunroom for it, we're always going to have a sunroom which is going to match because our, our sunrooms will, uh, will be universal as we go forward. The other thing that a sunroom will come with is a removable floor. So um, the, with the three side panels that come down, there's a little floor panel which comes underneath we have a removable floor which sits on top of that. And the reason we make it removable is so that if you wanted to cook in there or have this as your kitchen area, you can lift it up without the threat of spilling coffee or spilling anything on your floor or hot food on your floor. Um, if you want to use it as a sleeping area, you can put that floor panel down again and it'll keep it a lot, uh, lot more secure and a lot more watertight. Now, some of our tents come with tiny curtains for the red bedroom. Um, the way to tell whether your tent should have one or not is if we have two doors in this main dividing wall here, it means it comes with a dividing curtain to separate this off into two bedrooms, hence why we have two doors. Now, the dividing curtains are a, um, a thick cotton sheet, unfolded. 
At the top we have little SR buckles. These are SR buckles. We have these hooks, and these hooks go into the rings down at the bottom of the tent. They can be tensioned up, be made a little bit tighter. There's also Velcros on the sides. Velcro go along the roof support poles, both front and back. And that just gives you a small amount of privacy between one bedroom and another. It also means that each bedroom's got its own door and its own window at the back, so it makes it a completely separate area. All our bedrooms are designed to be able to fit a queen airbed inside, so if we can't fit a queen airbed in, we don't call it a separate bedroom. Power cord access on Freedom's canvas tents is found on the side of the doors and the side of the full side openings. Um, they're off to the side so there's no chance of people catching the, uh, catching the cords when they walk in and out of the tent. Now, once the cord is thread through this um, side opening, then it can be attached to these little Velcros, and these Velcros run up the seam, and then continue up the roof to the ridge line. This allows you to run the cord all the way up to the roof, and then wrap it around the ridge pole to move your um, power into the back of the tent and also means it gets it off the ground, off the floor, and away from kids and young hands. The poles on our canvas tents are all gold pacific coated. Uh, this gives us gold shiny coating on the outside of the pole. The reason we do this is because it's a lot more rust resistant and corrosion resistant, which is really important if you're camping beside the beach and there's a lot of salt air, um, salt in the air. So uh, it also makes them stronger, so it means we can get away with it a lighter weight pole with the same amount of strength, so it saves your weight on your whole tent. On each of the poles we stamp our numbers on. Um, on all of our EVE poles you'll find the numbers E1 through to E7, and, or, or 8 depending on the size of the tent. R poles will be for ridge poles and S for support poles. Uh, the reason we stamp them on is because they're really durable, so this tent is going to last you 15-20 years if you look after it. So by stamping it on we can ensure that you're always going to be able to find the number on your pole. Um, the most important thing with your poles when you buy a tent is to make sure they're packed down dry and make sure they're clean when they go down. Um, otherwise you can get um, moisture build up over time, especially if you're storing them over the winter period. All Freedom Canvas tents have continuous pole sleeves. Uh, these are pole sleeves along the side of the tent. Pole threads through this section here. By having continuous pole sleeves it means you can thread the pole all the way through Pole sleeve joining into the second half of the tent and all the way through the second pole sleeve. Instead of what typically happens on canvas tents is you have individual webbing loops all the way down, which takes longer to, longer to pitch and also is more, you're more likely to miss one of them when going up. Now some of the other benefits of having continuous pole sleeve other than pitching time is the fact that because you've got a long section of canvas on both sides here, it's a lot stronger for your tent, so there's more seam that it catches into. We have these cutouts on either side, and this lets water run off from the roof. Um, we keep the water run off from the roof in the centre of these windows, so that it gives you the most protection from any seams where water is likely to get in, work its way into. Um, at the end of the pole sleeve, you'll notice we have this pole sock. Now this pole sock flips over top, as we mentioned before, to stop water running down into the awning area as such. Underneath this, you have a black webbing loop. This black webbing loop is to keep the tent tension from one side to the other. It's important that the webbing loop goes all the way over the pole, not just over this little button clip here. It can cause this button clip to become weak over time. If you have trouble getting this on, a good tip for you is that you can put a peg through that webbing loop to pull it over because it's quite tight when it's first made. It'll loosen up over time. Halfway down the pole sleeve, you'll see this section here. Now this is a support slot for a pole which runs through the middle of the tent um, and is to lift up and support the centre part of the, of the eave pole. 
it's important when you are pitching your tent that you have this pole sock here. You thread that inside the pole sleeve like that, and that'll stop any water running down inside that pole. Your camp set will come with these little witch hats. Now, these witch hats here are designed to go on top of these spikes here and prevent water running down the pole inside your tent. Um, it's particularly important in the awning area when you've got a sunroom and also on your main body of your tent when you're pitching the tent so water doesn't run inside. Now, a really important tip when you're putting these witch hats on is that it needs to go underneath the sky rope point on the side here. So, thread your pole through, sit the witch hat on top, and then set the guy rope on top like that. Talk to that up. If you have your guy rope underneath that witch hat, it will create space underneath there and then the water will get in underneath the witch hat and run down your pole. On all my tears that have uh, full side openings, we also provide these little bungee guys. Now, these little guy ropes here are designed to be able to Connect onto the eyelets. Each side of this, yep. The peg runs through this ring. So. Now, that allows you to have the side opening open and a little bit of airflow flowing through. You can also have this tent op uh, the side opening opening when it's raining as well. Um, and this is one of the other reasons why we have this angled side inside the side opening, so there's less chance of driving rain getting inside there. Um, this all allows you all your privacy. And because they're bungeed, you're less likely to have people injuring themselves or anything by tripping over them. It gives a little bit of slack inside the um, side panel. One great optional extra for your camp tent is a corner cupboard. Now, these corner cupboards are designed to sit inside this corner section of each room. Now, you see that they're colour coded, so this one here will fit in our red corner, and this one here will fit in our black corner as our opposing sides. To connect them in, just connect these hooks into the rings. Down the bottom of the floor. And then the top ring goes into this top section that's up there. Now you can adjust the height of this, depending on how high your tent is. So as we mentioned, the, the opposing side, so on the red side, The red webbing will match the red ring at the top. Now the great thing about these cupboards is that they fill up this useless space inside your tent. Um, this all allows you full access into your window and corners, and, but it, doesn't fill, uh, it fills up this corner side here where you've got angles and you can't put cupboards against. Um, also another great feature with these cupboards is that they are interchangeable to any corner inside your tent. So that if you decide you want a bed in this corner here, you can move this red, red cupboard across the opposite red corner and in both the front and rear, rear rooms. Um, all of our cupboards come with a set of two, so they come in either angled versions or vertical versions. Angled will be all our style tents which have angled walls on the sides and verticals are for our straight wall three bedroom style tents.